Today, I'll show you how to make a 3D image carousel like this that rotates, which looks super cool. I made this in Elemental and used a small code that I got from Jim Farhad's channel. You guys should definitely check it out. All right, without wasting any time, let's start. First, click on the plus icon to add a new section to the page. Choose the two column structure as the right side will contain the image carousel and the left side will hold the text widgets. Next, go to the settings panel on the left and set the height to 100VH for it to cover the entire screen. You can also adjust the height to your preference. Now set the columns to 50% width to ensure even spacing between them. Let's focus on the column where the images will be placed. Start by dragging and dropping the image widget into the right column like this. Now choose an image from the media library or upload a new one from here. Once the image is added, go to the style tab in the left panel and add a border radius like this to give the images some nice rounded corners. Okay, now let's fill the column with more images. Just duplicate the image widget about eight to 10 times like this. After duplicating, change out each image while keeping the rounded corners across all of them. Once done, it should look something like this. Easy, right? Now that the images are in place, select the column containing the images. Go to the Advanced Settings tab in Elementor and in the CSS Classes field. Let's add a unique class name. I'll use My Gallery. You can use any class name you like, but make sure to stay consistent throughout your code to avoid any issues later on. Next, it's time to customize the animation for the image carousel. Just scroll down to Custom CSS and click here. Now go to the description, copy the CSS code and paste it in here. This code will control the animation. You can adjust the duration to set the speed. Try 20 seconds for a medium pace. Just experiment around with faster or slower speeds by setting it to 10 seconds or 50 seconds. This is your chance to find the best animation speed that fits your design best. To add a 3D effect to the images, we'll use an HTML code. But before we do that, you need to understand one thing. Adding these features will surely make your website engaging, but what's the use if it does not load properly when your visitors interact with it? Adding customizations like this can slow down even a new site and drive away visitors. So my team built this awesome free tool called Airlift, where you just have to put your site URL and it will optimize your entire website and give you a 90 plus page speed score without breaking your site. Their support is highly responsive. So if you face any issues, just raise a ticket and they will handle it. So try it out and share it with your friends because you will thank me later. Okay, now let's move on to the next step. Just drag and drop the HTML widget just below the section where you want the 3D effect to appear. Paste your HTML code into the widget ensuring that any class names in your HTML match those in your CSS. If the class names don't match, the styles won't be applied correctly. Next, let's make sure the images don't crowd the content on the left side. Go to the advanced settings for the right column and add some margin and padding to the left. This will keep everything nicely spaced out and balanced. All right, let's add some content to the left column. Drag a heading widget into the left column for your title. Below the heading, add a text editor widget where you can write a bit of descriptive text. Finally, drag a button widget under the text to create a clear call to action for users. With everything added, go ahead and customize the text, buttons, and other content to fit your design. I'll do that quickly off screen. And once that's done, it should look like this. Now adjust the margins and padding on the right side like this. This will ensure everything lines up nicely with the images on the right. Now that everything is set up, click on publish to save the changes and preview the page. And yes, the 3D image carousel should be looking amazing. Okay, let's also make sure the carousel is responsive on tablets and mobile devices. To do that, switch to mobile portrait mode from here to see how everything looks on smaller screens. The 3D image does need some tweaking, so select the column containing the 3D image. Then go to the advanced settings. Here you can add custom CSS specifically for mobile devices to adjust the image size, positioning, or even hide certain elements if necessary. This will ensure that the 3D effect still looks great without overpowering the layout. I'll change the scale from here and then make some size changes. 
Okay, this looks good. Let's just add a bit more spacing. Select the first column, go to advanced, and add some margin at the bottom to space things out nicely. Now, let's preview it. Yeah, this looks good. Comment below if you have any questions and I will help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. You're really going to thank me for this. So click here and I will see you there.